just like shake this, it's obviously ground something. These guys gotta come up. Or if that's it, like if that has anything to do with it. I don't know. Here's a 30. Hopefully it starts. <laughs> got it. I think I got it. I think I got it. Dude, it's just like snap, like burnt. Like it's, it's literally burnt. Here's one for all you gurus out there. I've got a first gen Tacoma and under the relay we found out the problem is this fuse here. It's a number 30. That's the EFI fuse and it keeps blowing. So it doesn't allow the fuel pump to send fuel and it was working fine if you recall. I just got it fixed but now for some reason when it starts raining like it just started raining now all of a sudden it's blowing the fuse so i'm just like curious like what what do you guys think the problem is anybody uh, have any answers any thoughts because well i'm on the side of the road so appreciate it i don't know i think it has something to do with the ground or got to be something like super simple you can see i mean i already went through those i got it on it's on the, on the grill on the downside it's like that oh there you go. okay yeah Which one was it? That one? No, the third one. There's none in there. Oh, that's right. There's one missing. You got it out. Yeah. Yep. See, it's breaking. Blew it, yeah. See? It just Instantly. Blew Have you got the light on? I mean, key on? Yeah. Keys on? Yeah. Turn off. It shouldn't matter, though, no, should it? It shouldn't matter, no. Okay. I was going to say, I mean, I don't mind, but I didn't think it did. Something wet somewhere. Cause that's what, because I came down that puddle, and that's when all my lights came on. How do we figure out where it's coming from? I don't know unless it's coming, unless this right here is doing it. It's gonna feel hot. Let's see. It's coming through this, what it's doing. No matter. I'm gonna blow it so I push it in there. It's on. No, it ain't neither. Yep, blowed it. It blowed it's it. Like four. Well, let's just go. I've got it parked here. It'll be fine. We'll come back. I bet you when it's dry, it'll do it. Like it did it fine. Out of the shop, driving around, going to work, and everything. everything is good until the minute I hit that puddle. We'll have to get on the rack and find that bearish spot. It's right. It's got to be here because it was my front that hit. I mean, I lost power before my back even crossed it. It wasn't back here. It was like something in the front. Something up here. Minute my front dipped down in that puddle. I got a short somewhere. It's starting to come down like super bad. I'm going to call the county and be like, hey, please don't tow my truck. Woo! It's cold out here. I mean, it's coming down pretty hard, guys. Anyways, I'm gonna shut this hood and get into I'll be back. So before I could even start filming, we found the problem and it's a short in this uh, vapor pressure release right here. We unplugged this and now it's running. It could have been any of these ones. And I'm pretty sure that, yeah, that's short. That was hot when I touched it. Well, that was 
that's what got us to know where it's at, so. At least we know. Now it's unplugged, I should be able to drive wherever I want now. I can't believe it's, it's always something small. Yep. You know, you're taking a blown head gasket and here it is, a vapor pressure release. 